Namaste and welcome to your practice. Whether this is the first time that you're unrolling your mat or that you've been here many times before, you can always welcome ourselves back into this moment. So thanks for practicing with me today. And we're gonna start in a seated position. I like to sit up on a block. So if you have a block, um, place it under your sit bones. You can grab a pillow, you can double up a pillow, whatever feels, whatever feels nice. The point is to get the hips a little bit over the knees, just have some more space in the back. And then close the eyes down or let them be heavy. And today we're just gonna move and breathe. So no pressure, no right or wrong, just steady breath. And we're just going to add some movement to it. So about three inhales and exhales, just to center. On your next inhale, lift your arms up. Use the whole inhale to get where you're going. Lift up, let the hands touch. And then exhale, bring the hands to heart center. You can press them into one another as you come down. We'll do like this again. Inhale, lift. Gaze can lift as well. And exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. This time interlace the fingers and we're gonna rotate the palms away and then press away, tuck the chin to the chest, round the back. Kind of wiggle in here and see where you feel, feel some tension. Just notice, notice what's going on. And then on your next inhale, lift the arms up, open the heart, open the throat, and then lift the gaze up as well. And then exhale, this time hands to heart center. So you can flip the palms back over and draw them down. Inhale. Exhale once more, interlace the hands, push them away around the back. We'll move with breath this time. Inhale, lift the arms up, open heart, throat, gaze up. And exhale, hands rotate back down to heart center. Beautiful. Right hand comes down towards the ground. You can come onto the fingertips and reach them out as far as you can. And then gaze towards the left, flip the palm up and reach up, up, up and over towards the side. So really um, a big curve on the left side of the body, making space there. Maybe you can reach the fingertips out a little bit more, getting really big here. Reach out through the fingertips. And then take the left hand behind the head and press the head back into the hand. So you rotate the whole rib cage open a little bit as well. Steady breath, breathing into the sensation that you feel. Reach the left arm back out. Inhale, come all the way back up. Then we'll switch sides, same thing. Left fingertips reach out. Right arm reaches over. Roll the shoulders back here. This bottom shoulder has a tendency to kind of come up by the ear. Roll it down and back. Right hand behind the head and then spiral the whole rib cage open. You can press the head back into the hand. Gaze up. One more big round of breath. and then reach the top arm back out and come all the way back up. Both hands lift up. And then take the hands behind the head. So interlace behind the head. Push the heart forward, open the throat, gaze up, back is arch, kind of leaning the head back. And then exhale, curl it all in. The elbows can come towards one another. The head hangs heavy, maybe a little bit of a sway or a wiggle here or maybe find stillness. A couple times with breath, inhale, open. Exhale, curl. 
Inhale, open. And exhale, curl. Big breath. Once more, inhale, open. And exhale, release the hands and fold forward. You can remove the block here and fold forward. So maybe the hands reach. Maybe you come to the elbows. Can look like many different things, so find where you'd like to be. You shouldn't be straining. You should be able to fully inhale and exhale here, so. Letting that be your, your edge. And slowly coming back up. Let's send the right leg out towards the side and keep the left leg pulled in. We'll flex the toes. And then maybe take one of those blocks or the bolster if you have, or pillow, and take it to the inside or the outside of the knee. You can see what feels better for you. Maybe take the elbow down or maybe the hands on it. See what feels good. And then we're gonna twist a little bit towards the left and lift the left arm up and over. I like to take my head into the hand. I'm kind of leaning back into the shoulders just slightly. Steady breath. So it's important to know that we're all gonna have quite a different experience and we should have a different experience. I'm just offering shapes. And you're exploring the sensation in your body with that, with that shape. It doesn't need to look like me. It'll wind up looking like you, so just stay curious. Next inhale coming up and we'll take a twist. So twist the whole body over towards the left. The right hand can come to the outside of the left knee and the left hand can come behind. Now press down through your sit bones, through, through your booty, press down so you can lengthen your spine up and then twist towards the left. Maybe the gaze follows. And steady breath here as well. Slowly coming back to center, we'll switch sides. Left leg out, right leg in. And we're not even to begin with, so it's probably likely that one side will be different than the other one, as it should. So place your block inside, outside, maybe using the hand, maybe coming to the elbow. Lots of different spaces here. But do, let's all see if we can lean back into the shoulders and then spiral the rib cage open. So spiraling open. Maybe the hand goes above the head. Can also just stay on the hip. See what feels good. About three rounds of breath here. One reason why we emphasize the breath so much in yoga is that it really helps us, um, one, keep a steady pace, kind of like a metronome. And then it also helps us relax into Relax into the poses. So when we're holding our breath, when we're tense, then the body doesn't feel safe to kind of release. So if we're fully inhaling, then fully exhaling, the body can kind of settle into these, uh, to these poses, these stretches, these openings. So I would say that this is more important than the pose. We're just adding poses to the breath. So let the next inhale lift you up. So inhale and kind of let that energy bring you up and then we'll take a twist over towards the right this time. Left hand on the outside of the right knee. Press down through the sit bones, through your booty and then take a twist. Maybe the gaze follows, maybe it just looks straight ahead. Either or. And fully exhale and release. So we're gonna come into tabletop position. So you can swoop your legs around or you can roll over the knees. 
And we'll come so that the hands are really wide, really, really wide, planting firmly down into the ground. Shoulders over the wrists and then hips over the knees. And have some softness in the elbows here. So we're gonna take cat-cow pose. So you may know exactly what cow cow is and you may not, but let's have a new experience with it. So press down into the ground. Tuck the chin to the chest and then curl the tailbone down as well. So everything's pressing down and curling in so that the back of the heart could come up towards the sky. This is cat pose. And then on an inhale, we're gonna drop the belly down, bend the elbows, let the heart come forward as the throat opens and the gaze lifts. So you can have the elbows more bent here, whatever feels, whatever feels nice. Sit bones coming up into the air. And then we'll move with breath here. So exhale, push the ground away, curl chin to chest. And then inhale, cat pose, reverse it. Open heart, throat, gazes up. Continue to move with breath. Move as fast as slow or as you would like, as your breath allows you to. But an inhale, you open the heart. And an exhale is when you curl down. That'll begin to feel natural. About three times your own pace. And then coming to center in tabletop. We're gonna tuck the toes. Press down through the fingers, begin to lift the knees and the hips come up and back into downward facing dog. So again, maybe re-spread the fingers really wide. Press the ground away so you're really long from the wrist down to the tailbone. And the legs can be as bent as you'd like them to be. The feet are about hips distance apart. It's about two fists. And imagine the heels are really heavy. They don't have to touch the floor, but they're just going in that direction. Find some wiggle here, some sway, some movement. And then we're gonna slowly walk the feet forward towards the hands. Spread the feet wide as the mat, bend the knees really deeply, and then grab opposite elbows. You can also interlace the hands behind the back if that feels better. You can try both. And then put the weight into the right side and then the left side moving back and forth. Let's take one more round of breath, inhale. And out, exhale, make a sound. Beautiful. Place the hands on the ground. You can bring the feet together a little bit more, about hips distance. Inhale, halfway lift. So the hands can come to blocks or to the shins. We're just gonna lift the spine up and exhale, fold forward. Twice more like this. Inhale, wave, snaking the spine and exhale, coming down. Once more, inhale. And exhale, step back with the right foot. Big step back. Bring the back knee down. If this hurts the knee, you can loop your mat over. You can also put a blanket right there as well. Hands can come to blocks or they can come to the floor. We're gonna open the heart, roll the shoulders back, and then pull back on the left hip crease. Press really firmly into the left foot. Maybe the arms lift here. You can bring them to the knees. You can bring them to the hips. You can bring them up, see what feels good. And continue to press down into the left foot. Be sure you're steady breathing here. One more inhale, maybe open the heart a little bit more, gazes up. And then exhale, hands find the floor or the block. We're gonna lengthen the front leg. It doesn't have to go straight, but it's going long. Sometimes I like to move it forward just a little bit. I have long legs. 
You can see what feels good with this back foot. You can keep it tucked or you can untuck it. Sometimes it just depends on the shape of your knee. Or lengthening the front leg, pulling the toes back towards you. Maybe even wiggling it back and forth a little bit, seeing what sensation you can find. This is called Ardha Hanumanasana, or half splits. All right, we're gonna move with breath now. So inhale, shift forward. Lift the arms up. And then exhale, plant the hands, lengthen the leg. Coming forward, inhale, lift the arms up or just open the heart. And exhale, half splits, lengthen the leg. Once more, inhale, come forward, open the heart. And exhale, plant the hands, step forward and fold. One snake of the spine on an inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward, step back with the left foot. Now we'll do the same thing. Be sure that the feet are on train tracks, meaning that they're not in one line. They should kind of be parallel. And then bring the back knee down. You're gonna press firmly into the front foot. You can keep the hands on the blocks if you like. Maybe to the knees. Maybe they lift up. And see about pulling back slightly on the right hip crease and then lengthening the tailbone down. See how that kind of shifts my torso here. I'm pressing down through the front foot. This can bring some safety to the low back. If you're like me, you might have some low back issues. So we wanna be, wanna be safe there. And then exhale, the hips move back, lengthen the front leg. The hands can move back with you or they can stay reaching up forward, your choice. Do pull the toes back. If you want a little bit more, then you can push them out towards the side. Be sure that the heart's open. And we'll move with breath. Inhale, come forward. Open the heart, maybe the arms lift, maybe they don't. And exhale, shift back, lengthen the leg. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, come back. Once more. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, plant the hands. Big step forward, left foot meets the right, forward fold. One inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bend the knees, bring the hips down towards the heels. And we're gonna come all the way down onto our backs. So you can separate the knees just slightly, reach forward as the hips come down, and rolling all the way down onto the back. Hug the knees into the chest. And take a simple twist to each side. So you can just take your knees and rock them both over towards the right. Just three rounds of breath. Maybe the arms come into a big T, or they can come up above the head, whatever feels good. Gaze can be up or to the side. Kind of ringing out here. Come back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. And let's switch sides. About three rounds of breath. Simple twist over towards the left. See if you can send the breath all the way down into the low belly. And then coming back to center, hug knees into the chest one last time. And extend the legs out 
into Shavasana. And we're just gonna take a really short ending pose here, Shavasana, where we'll spend the next five breaths seeing how much we can let gravity take us. So closing the eyes down. Imagine the body's really heavy. And that every exhale, you sink a little bit more. Melting down. On every out breath. Twice more. And then take a slow reach, arms above the head. You can let the ribs lift, the low back lift, big stretch, toes reach. And exhale, knees to chest. We're gonna come back up to a seat. So roll over towards your side, maybe taking a round of breath here. Always a slow movement back up. And then take your top hand, whichever that may be, and press down into the ground to help support you on your way. And just back into the seat that you began in. Maybe popping the block underneath yourself. Line the hands on the thighs. They can be palm down, this sensation of grounding, or maybe palm up. And see what feels better in the body. And just take a moment of thanks and gratitude for yourself for showing up for you and for carving the time out of your day to spend with you and your breath and your body. These little moments definitely add up and make quite Quite a big shift. Bring your hands together. And we'll close out saying namaste, which is traditionally a greeting. You can also use it here, just meaning that, um, that we see each other. The light in the dark in me sees the light in the dark in you. And we'll bow forward in thanks, in gratitude, namaste. Thank you all for joining me. Again, my name is Cole Chance and I'm really excited to be back here teaching with Yoga TX. So if you enjoyed this class, then please subscribe if you haven't. Um, let us know what you thought in the comments and hope to see you again on your mat.